I don't know what I did to be so lucky, but there are a lot of these guys. Look at this, that one there. Then there's that one there. And then we got two over here. That's so cool. Best I can figure, these are all really small American toads. Like, freshly out of the pond, dropping the tail kind of little. But there's hundreds of them. And that's making my walk a little harder. Huh. You don't see that every day. All right, let's see if this works. Because these little guys are like ants. They're everywhere. There's another one. There's two more. One just took off over here. There they go. There's gotta be hundreds of them. Did I say hundreds? I think I'm broaching thousands. Sheesh. There's even more of them. Let's see, there goes, there goes a few. Oh, oh, oh. There's a couple right here. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> I'm used to dodging these guys in the fall. Oh, well, they're bigger then. There's one. They're like crickets. I mean, it makes sense that there's so many of them. And they lay so many eggs in the hope of at least one of them survives. So, it's not all that strange to find them. I've just never done it before. It's amazing. As I'm doing this, I'm looking down and watching hundreds of these things running away from me. Like I'm Godzilla terrorizing Tokyo. So I finally made it out of uh, Toad Central. There were a lot of them. I have never seen so many little amphibians in one place. But it's a good thing. Amphibians like the American toad are great indicator species. If their numbers start diminishing, it usually means there's some kind of problem with the ecosystem. It could be a new toxin, like a pesticide, a pathogen, like a fungus, or changes in climate and temperature. So they're really good at letting us know if there's a problem. And because of that, I didn't mind so much them making my life difficult. Because I'd much rather prefer dodging them than wondering where they've gone. So until next time, I'll see you on the trail. Peace.